is it's Lee from Centred with Lee, your independent Sensit consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this haul unboxing. So I ordered this on Monday and it arrived today, which is Friday. So I kind of vaguely remember what should be in here. I know it has some of the bring back my bars, what else, yeah, cool, so as usual, shovel and paper, and more paper, so I think I'll just pop it to the side and pull that as I go, so starting off we have the Wispy Willow Mini Warmer. So this looks really pretty. I haven't actually seen it in the flesh. So this is one for my mother and she wanted a pink mini warmer. And as you can see, that's really pretty shade of pink and it's a glass warmer. So she wanted the one with the plug-in rather than the desktop, so that's for her. And then I'll just quickly pop that to the side. Then have a coconut cotton scent circle. So these are fab for small spaces such as closets, cars, even kind of like um, you can hang them inside a bin if your bin gets a bit smelly. Then we have a warmer and the lead thread. So I haven't seen this one in the flesh. So this one comes with a glass dish which has the number five on the bottom just there. So that means the most number of cubes that you could put in this warmer is five. But I usually recommend just starting with one because ultimately one might be enough. So this is the Tudor warmer which has this really nice um, oh, ceramic, um, almost like Tudor-esque lattice work with a lilac glass shade inside so this lights up and it then heats using the element warmer. So since you do two different, well, three different types of warmers, you've got the element warmer like this that either has a light or doesn't have a light, but it still uses the heating pad to warm the wax, or there is the light bulb style, which is in full size, or the mini warmers like this. So then we have a few more bits and pieces. So picked up three of the 15 watt light bulbs because the light bulb went in my mini warmer in the utility room and I was gutted because I had to wait probably about a week and a half after it went until I did an order to pick some up, to pick another one up. So when I did this order, I grabbed three because I decided ideal to have some on hand especially if any goes to a customer it's one thing me having to wait as a consultant it's something else um, for a customer to have to wait so then we have the Sensi mini fan diffuser which is if it focus no so this is just the mini fan and these the basically USB and the Sensi cords just sit on the top. If you have it in a car, I've seen where people have actually taken the little label, peeled that off the side of the pod and then stuck it over the top of the fan diffuser and it just stops it coming out 
in the car as you're driving around. So, so then the pods are Amazon Rain, which is really nice fragrance. And then we have some wax, which in true Scentsy style is in another box. So where's my trusty box opener? So then in the car. And more paper. So yes, Scentsy certainly do package things well. So I picked up some of the Bring Back My Bars from this year's release, um, as well as a few other bits. So we have a rather juicy um, chamomile daisy. Then, so that's not Bring Back My Bar. There's also a lemon squeeze and a coconut lemongrass. These aren't bringing back my bars either. They are for customers. Then on to bring back my bar. So most, well, in fact, I none of these I've smelt before because these were all originally released before I became a consultant. So quite looking forward to trying these and hopefully some of them are not sealed. So first one is give me passion flower. So no idea what this is like. That's nice. I like that. Let me just quickly pull up the scent notes if I can find them. Um, we have, did have them. So, give me passion flower. A luscious luau of dewy passion fruit, fresh kept mango spears, and wild hibiscus will conjure an evening at an exotic island soiree. Yeah, it is quite tropical, quite fruity. That's nice. Then we have. Um, uh, we have sugar. Oh, that's, oh, I like that. that. That's quite unusual. So the scent description for sugar is fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. So that's quite nice. Then we have, I have two bars of each of these. Uh, love and happiness. Ooh. different. So Love and Happiness is described as glazed chestnut, vanilla and sugar cane define temptation. Yeah. Wouldn't have said chestnut but then I suppose I don't really go around sniffing chestnuts to know what they smell like. So then there's the other bar of sugar. Oh there is a bar there that isn't a bring bar so I will come back to that. Then we have Oh, that's nice. Accidentally in love. Hmm, that's different. So, accidentally in love, which is described as crisp gingery tangerine and exotic palm frond keep things clean and bright. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that's my favourite so far. Then we have Dark Harbour. So the description of this is a romantic exotic fragrance of lime and blue green mint with notes of watery ocean lavender and mysterious amber. And I love amber. I love anything with amber in, usually. And this is no exception, this is really nice. I really like that. I did read that if you like Mystery Man, you would like Dark Harbour and I do like Mystery Man. Then we have Lemon Thyme Berry. So the description for this is sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkle and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. Ooh. That's different. It's I get the lemon. Um 
an a herbal note, which is obviously the thyme, but I wouldn't have specifically said thyme. Hmm, not unpleasant. Don't dislike that. Then we have two bars of one that I've heard a lot about from American consultants, which is Rocking Ruby Raz. And the description for this is a fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry and sweet candy glaze all wrapped up in, a, in one perfect fragrance. So let's see. Ooh. I like that. Problem, my problem is I, there's not many I dislike. Some I'm not as keen on as others, but it, it takes a lot for me to say I don't like a, a fragrance. So then we have two bars of Bubblegum Blast and the description for this is a perfect pop of bright orange, juicy cherry and sweet vanilla. So let's give it a sniff. Ooh. Yeah, that, that reminds me of the bubblegum I used to have as a kid. I want to say have a bubba, have a have a have a bubba. Mm, that's nice, I like that. Then we have two bars, as I said, like Noah, I've gone two, two by two. So this is coconut vanilla orchid, and hopefully there's coconut vanilla and orchid in it. But the description is alluring orange zest, coconut milk and silky vanilla orchid. So let's give it a go. Ooh. No. Unless it's starkly different warm, I think this might be one that gets mixed with something else. To me, it smells very plasticky, which is a weird thing to say. But it almost reminds me of the smell of like the rubbery ground sheet that comes with the tent, if I'm honest, and I will be honest. So there was me saying it takes a lot for me to dislike fragrance. No, it's not a ground sheet, it's an inflatable air mattress. That's this. That's the smell I'm getting. So if I want to be reminded of days of camping, I think I'll be warming this one. But. As I say, it could be completely different warm, but on first sniff, it just makes me think of an air mattress. So then we have, actually I will come back to those because that's the one I thought I would like the most. Then we have two bars of Beach Daisy, and the description of this one is, Honeydew Melon, Wild Daisies and Green Apple make a bouquet of fresh picked paradise. Who knows? Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, that's nice. Definitely prefer that to coconut vanilla orchid. I like that one. That is very nice. Then we have two bars of Go Glam. And the description of Go Glam will be Rich pomegranate, blackberry nectar, and midnight jasmine are ready for their close-up. So, like jasmine, so maybe lucky with this one. Ooh. Definitely get the jasmine and a fruity note. I wouldn't have said it was either pomegranate or blackberry, but... That is really nice. I do really like that. And then finally, we have the one that I've been waiting to try. And that is Vanilla Mint. So the description of this is wintergreen frost, sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus. And I really like any fragrances that are minty. Um, I think they're very refreshing for the summer, but equally, almost wintry as you would associate with peppermint sticks and things like that. 
So I shall give it a sniff and see what I think. Ooh, I like that. That is really nice. That, yeah, it's like citrus mint. I like that. The Bring Back My Bars can be bundled into, these were the 12 pack, but they can be bundled into six packs as well. I am tempted to pick up a few more bars of Vanilla Mint, Go Glam and Rocking Ruby Raz maybe, possibly Dark Harbour. Um, yeah, I might, I might think about that. Or I might just add a bar of each into my scented club and see what I think once they're warmed because it's easy to take them back out of your scented club if you change your mind. But I do really like those few. Yes. So then the last two which aren't part of the Bring Back My Bar is Fiji Flower from the Paradise Summer Collection. So this to me was my second favourite after Blue Agave Melon. So I didn't feel that this one was club worthy but I did think I wanted an extra bar of it. So I did pick another bar up, which is, I want to say, Plumeria and a few other bits. I will put the actual scent notes down below. And then I picked a bar of June's Fragrance of the Month, which is Apple Blossom Breeze, which is, again, I think it's something like um, Apple, Peach and something. Ooh. Now see, I didn't think I would like this. I wasn't 100% certain I would like it. Which I'm glad I do because I did actually accidentally order an additional bar because I forgot that I'd ordered a bar with this lot. And when I closed a party out yesterday, I was like, ooh, I'll have a bottle of apple, a bottle? A bar of Apple Blossom Breeze. So I'm glad I like that. Not sure it's club worthy. Um, but I might go ahead and pick a third bar up. I'm not sure. I might be happy with two. Um, just seeing if I can quickly find the scent notes for this. Um, as usual, I will add them down below, but it doesn't hurt. Um, 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 apple blossom. So the scent description is Apple Blossom Breeze, delicate apple blossom and jasmine flutter in a sweet cool breeze. So it's apple blossom and jasmine. So yeah, I'm, it might be the jasmine in it that makes me like it more than I expected to. Do really like that. So that's it from me this afternoon. There will be another haul video next week including my birthday gift to myself, which is a diffuser. I had my eye on for a while and then when I decided to take the plunge and order it, it was out of stock. And it's been out of stock for a while. So the fact that it's my birthday in a week and a half means it arrives in perfect timing. So thank you for joining me this afternoon or this evening. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.